Hello and welcome to this page flight tutorial. In this advanced page flight tutorial, I will share with you how to add animate on scroll animation inside page flight editor with continuous animation. So what that means is if I show you preview of this one of the demo page. Okay, one of the demo page, then you will find that this uh, this animation is happening. And also if I scroll down, you can see this section is also animated, right? But the thing here is if I scroll back again and scroll down again, it will animate once again, which is not possible with PageFly. So what I mean by that not possible. So for example, if I add a slider, if I add a slider animation for this section to show you that PageFly has built in animation like when display. So if I click on the when display and if I give a fade left to that whole section, Okay, and if I save, if I save uh, this animation, what you will find that this fade in left animation is actually happening, but this is not continuously happening as like I showed in the demo. So if I go, uh, if, uh, so this saving is taking some time. So after saving it, we will preview it and see the difference of the animation that I am going to show you and that animation that PageFly has built in. Sometimes it built in animation. Sometimes in some web page, you will find this type of animation. Whenever you scroll to that section again, it animates once again. So it is just a continuous animation, not just once. But page play animation only happens once. So let us let me show you again. Uh, so what that means. So if I preview the page, so please have a look, a bit a close look, and do make the attention. So if you see that this section. As we as we expect, if I scroll back again and scroll down again, this animation is happening. For this section, you can see we given in using page fly. But if we scroll down and scroll back again, this animation won't happen again, right? As you can see, it is not happening again. But for that section, if I scroll back to the top again and scroll down again, this is happening once again. So this animation, I will show you how to add that animation. To add that animation, we need to add a third party animated jQuery library, which is animated on scroll. So to add that, just simply follow this step. Just go to add element and then scroll down and click on this HTML liquid and drag it inside anywhere in your page. Okay, inside a section that will be better. Okay, then just click on add, open edit code and then you will find a post a link in the description. Just click on that. You will find a page just like this. Just copy the all the elements from here. Copy all the elements from this box. Top to bottom and click on copy. Then go to a page fly and paste all this inside HTML liquid editor. Okay. Then I will just delete this one which I added that fast. Okay. So you can see this is the code I have pasted here. Now to make this animation happen for a particular section. So it will be, you can give it to a particular section so for example let me take this one this section again in the top and let us remove the animation that we given here just remove the page fly animation let us add the continuous animation for that section so to add that animation in the post as i see said go to that element and click on attribute so for this whole section i'll go to the section Click on the attributes. Under attributes, I click on mode setting. And then you will find that we can add custom attributes. Click on add new element. And then copy this one data AOS. Paste it in the enter key. And then go here and give the value like fade up, fade in, fade left. You know there is many type of animation that we can give. In that case, I will click on fade in. Okay, now you can see I have given two options here in the custom attributes for mode setting data AOS from that post and you can give animation type. In that case, I have used fade in. How many animation type we have? We have many like fade in, flip animation, slide animation, zoom in animation. I will post link this animation list in the description as well. You can check it or you can use uh, any of this. I have pre-made uh, pre that I am using. So I have used fade in for that. So click on save. So the saving will take some time some time so this animation we are giving by a third party jquery plugin so this type what will happen it will do the continuous animation okay whenever we scroll back scroll down we will see that fade in animation again and again so this is not one time animation that 
pagefly provides built in in the editor okay so this is the difference here nothing else because sometimes pagefly any built in animation is not as smooth as you want for particular case this could happen so this is just as advanced tutorial if you require this type of animation you can use this solution nothing else so let's save it and the saving takes some time as always click on preview now and if we see if we scroll down it's taking some time you can see this fade in animation is showing here so if i scroll back again i scroll down again you can see it is happening multiple times okay so you can see it is working so for some reason you can just want to use animation for only a particular element not just the whole section so in that case what you need to do you need to just delete this uh delete this animation from that section now let add it for a particular element like the for only for this two heading so in that case what i will uh, use uh, slide left so there is a slide flip left zoom zoom in left slide left okay this animation i like most one of the animation so in that case i come to this heading element go to attributes click on more setting and then click on add new item and then we have to put first of all data aos this has to be put as a key and for value we can put any elements from here in that case i will use slide left then put the value here i will do the same for this heading as well go to that click on add element data aos and in, in that case i am also going to use slide right okay let's give two types of element for two heading and then just so this this animation will only happen now only for those two headings not the whole section so let's see how it looks so click on save so let's preview So now let's come to that section. Now you can see it is showing us the animation, but this is quite slow. If you if you, uh, if you see, it is quite slow because it is showing very lately, right? It is showing very lately because of this code. Here is a code which you click on this code, as you can see, offset of the original trigger point delay zero second duration values from the to it uh, 50 millisecond uh, offset you can just uh, remove this offset also this section has a lot of padding so i can uh, change the padding from here and make it 50 pixel so it is visible uh, in the first place okay now you can see so let's ask give a save again and two types of animation actually does not look good like one is slide left one is slide right so it is not matching in that case as well so let's give it a preview again so giving it by element and giving it by section is also possible so now, now you can see it is showing perfectly in a perfect manner right and it is continuous continuous animation continuous animation okay as you can see so there was no delay as you can see and this what this code actually means like if you click on this there is some other codes like uh, you can see offset delay and duration okay so you can give how many duration how many times this will be animated so you can uh, control this if you want but not recommended if you don't know the actual baseline of coding so you can do that for a particular block for a particular column as well just go to that and go to attribute and add those as a custom attribute so there is a lot of possibility and lot of things you can customize you can play around so this is the thing about making the animate on scroll and the continuous animation inside pagefly editor using this library so i will put all the link in the description can check this and you can apply this in your design as well if you think this is something you require to do so thank you very much for watching the video